<laughs> Good morning, uh, this is Blois. Uh, a great night at the Ibis uh, in central Blois, which is a really nice hotel, perfectly lovely. Um, so I'm just gonna wander up here and just see if my bike is still intact. Uh, I haven't seen it yet, but the guy on the counter assured me that it's safe. And so I'm sure he's right. This is a really lovely little town. I'm gonna have a bit of a wander around in a minute and see uh, what I can see before I leave for Chambord, which is the um, apparently the biggest or most impressive uh, chateau in the whole of France. So here we are. Let's have a little look. No one's fiddled with it, which is the most important bit. So I want to get myself bagged up and uh, we go to Chambord and uh, have a little look at this amazing chateau. I really think this is a pretty place. I'm going to come back here with Liana. Maybe that's how we should see these little mini adventures. Me checking places out to come back with Liana. Sounds like a really good excuse, doesn't it? Me exploring the world so that I can find nice places to take Liana. That's the name of my U that's the new name for my YouTube channel. Exploring the world for Liana. So it's 20 minutes to um, Chambord. So I will catch you in a minute. weird how all their faces are going in one direction it's like they're ignoring me I don't know what parking complete means I'm imagining it means full uh, I'm gonna go down here anyway I don't know if I should ridiculous to think that that was originally going to be my first bike. Look how cute and small it is. This staircase is absolutely amazing. Apart from the fact it was partly designed by Leonardo da Vinci, it has one really, really weird characteristic. It's kind of double helix. So you've got one set of stairs that kind of runs up this way, and then you've got a central column, which is unbelievable. And then you have another set of stairs that actually runs up this way. So in effect, you can have one person coming down the stairs, and the other one going up on the other side, and they'll never actually meet. That was amazing, what an amazing place. Um, like so many sites that I'm seeing in France, uh, absolutely stunning. So the plan now is I'm gonna go to Tours, which is a, uh, about an hour and a half away from where I am now. Oops, be better if I get it in gear though, wouldn't it? And then from there, um, it's staying the night there, and then I'm gonna head off down the Loire Valley, um, because I have to. It'd be ridiculous not to, wouldn't it, in this part of the world. So I've got a little bit of time before I need to be at the hotel really so I'm going to do a little bit of a ride around down to another river and just check that kind of area out and then um, I'll maybe show you one thing en route if it's open um, but if not we'll head straight to the hotel. So I've actually stopped off en route and I'm in a town or a little village called Bour, which has got um, the world famous mushroom caves. I thought I've got to check this out. Apparently after the Second World War there's 400 kilometres worth of cave. There's only 200 kilometres left now. I don't know what's happened to the other 200. Um, but this is where they grow these world famous mushrooms. So I'm going to go and do a bit, bit of a tour 
and learn a bit about it. Sadly, no one speaks English here, which I don't blame them, we're in France, um, but I've got a little description, so I'm gonna read it as I go around in the dark. It's pretty incredible to think that all of this is carved out of solid rock. It's mind blowing. <laughs> well, that was a bit different. I, I can now safely say I know more about mushrooms than any man ever needs to know. <laughs> Um, but it actually was quite interesting to be honest, I never really thought about how they grew them. Um, but the caves themselves, I mean there's 200 kilometres of accessible caves there, which is absolutely mental. Um, I'm assuming, I'm assuming that the original, they were originally dug out for the, uh, the granite work, because obviously lots of people have carved like examples. There's an entire village in there, uh, which is quite something else. Someone's actually carved that literally out of the solid rock. So I thought that was pretty awesome. Anyway, that's been done now. I'm gonna head off to the hotel and so I'll check in with you there. I tell you, every city, every town that I've been in so far is just beautiful. This is no exception. Three minutes away. I need to, it's called the Hampton, I think it is. Hampton or Hamilton, something like that. I can't remember. Oh, are you going to cross? Okay, mate, yeah, don't worry about me. Have we booked it a little bit out of town? I think we might have booked it a little on the edge here. It's gone from being really pretty to being not as pretty. So, apparently, it's around here. There it is there. The only thing is, how do I get to it? I'm going to assume I can't park. Could I maybe park there? You're turning left, are you? Okay, you're turning left in the right lane. Okay. I would be very surprised if this hotel doesn't have a car park. Because it is a big hotel. There's 24 hour car parking. I bet that's where they send me. Um, I'll tell you what we're gonna do. We're gonna just pull over here for a minute. be really really naughty I think could I even pull up on there for one minute would I actually do any harm if I did that I think I'm gonna do that it says no entry but I'm sure it doesn't actually mean it Let's just go and let's go and check in and see where they want me to park. I'm sure it's not here. 
So I'm settled in to a, a nice hotel in Tours, and um, it wasn't a very big ride today. I, as you know, I sort of started off in, um, uh, where was I? I started off in, I've got to find it, in Blois this morning, and Chambord is just there. Uh, ended up going to that weird mushroom farm, which I've got to say was really interesting. And I'm now settled into Tours for the evening. Um, I'm going to back up all my stuff and then call it a night. So I really hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a like, but more importantly, please subscribe. And that way you won't miss any of the future videos that I've got coming out. Thanks so much for watching, and I look forward to seeing you in the next one. <laughs>